Hello and welcome to the screen size responsive dynamic layouts tutorial. Let's take a quick look at the finished product so you can evaluate whether or not you want to learn this kind of technique. Now this demo web page that you're going to be learning how to build within this video tutorial is set up with three different style sheets. The first one is large.css, the second one is medium.css, and the third one is mobile.css. Now what happens is as I resize the browser window, if the window.inner width property gets less than 1200 pixels, I make it snap or switch to the medium.css. So you see how that happens? It switches to an 800 wide pixel layout. Now if the browser window gets less than 900, I switch to mobile. See? So you can see there is the mobile style layout where everything is dynamically width. So all the, the data kind of wraps around that menu and the menu has a dynamic width set to it. And the buttons are a little bit bigger. And the header is a little bit smaller up top. You can see on the medium, the header is a little bigger, the buttons are normal, and on the large, it's just a little bit wider. So this all happens as the user is resizing your browser window. So that is what you're going to be learning how to construct. Now I've recently reprogrammed AdamCorey.com to where uh, late breaking news for technology developers and science. Uh, so it's developer news, science news, uh, technology news, and this other news kind of news feeds that I'm going to tap into to where if you want to check daily all the late breaking news for technology and stuff like that and, and developer coding news, you can peek in at AdamCorey.com whenever you want. And even up top here in Daily News, you can get to all the different specific sections to see the full listing. And like I said, I'm going to be writing articles here. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I just wrote an article yesterday that's about JavaScript mobile phone detect and screen size redirect scripts. Now, what you saw us using here is a dynamic uh, script that changes the style sheets dynamically according to what the screen or the browser window has been resized to. But if you just want to redirect your users to a mobile directory, which is a little bit different from what we're going to be doing in this tutorial, you can use one of these two little scripts. And what that does is redirect your user, if they're on a mobile device, to your mobile directory for your website. And there are two separate ways of doing it, so that's why I listed both different methods for it. So that's just in case you just want to simply redirect your users to a whole different directory. What we're doing in this tutorial here is we're swapping the style sheets. So you're going from large.css to medium.css to mobile.css all in real time as the user is resizing the page. But you could also use just a simple script like this to switch the style sheet to a mobile.css style sheet if you happen to notice the screen the user screen is less than 900 pixels or if you want to target their device directly you can do things according to that and I'm sorry for talking so long in the beginning of this before we start with the code but I feel those things needed to be discussed because there's a lot of different ways to accommodate for a smaller screen or mobile device and things like that. Now first we're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document which is index.html and I'm going to start with it all bare so you can see how we build an application like this from scratch and even if you have an existing page you'll be able to more easily understand how to integrate this kind of thing into your existing page. And also keep in mind as I've mentioned several times now we have three different style sheets. You have large.css medium.css. You can see between large and medium.css there's not many changes, just a few numbers are different. And then mobile.css, which is a little bit different because things, elements on the page need to be repositioned and made dynamic in their widths. So you can see we have dynamic widths in this version and in these we don't have any dynamic widths. They're pixel widths. And I'll show those to you again or you can just pause while I'm on each one of those if you want to copy my exact .css style sheets, you can just pause the video, make sure you full screen it, and you can copy my CSS exactly. Because in the page where this code is offered on developphp.com, I'm only going to have the index.html file offered to you guys. I'm not going to have the .css style sheets there that you can copy and paste. You have to use your own style sheets. Okay, so index.html. Let me just go ahead and close these. 
but just know that they live in the same directory. So if I go to File, Open, you'll see in that directory I have my index page, which is my web page, and then I have my three style sheets. You could have your style sheets in a folder called Style. It doesn't matter, just as long as you link to them correctly. Now the first thing I'm going to do is pop the HTML into the body element of the page. So you can see I just popped in a div right there for my header, and that's the big gray header that you saw on top. Then I have div my menu, which is this whole div right there. And you can see there's only four little A tags within it, which are links. So those are my buttons within my menu div. And then last thing I have is a div my content. So each div has an ID. And in my content, you can see I just have some lorem ipsum there, which is just uh, gobbledygook and dummy placeholder text, which I will collapse. All right, so there's my divs. Div my content, div my menu, and on the very top is div my header. Now in the head element on the page, what we'll do is pop in a link tag, and the link is for the style sheet. So if you've ever used a .css style sheet for designing your web page, this is the normal way that you link to it. But the only difference is here we have an ID placed, an ID of page style. And by default, we want to load in the large .css which is the one for people on very widescreen desktops. Now right under that, in the head element still, we want to put a script element. That way we can place some JavaScript right here. Now the first thing in the JavaScript, you want to have your function layout handler. Open close parentheses, open in curly brace, go down a couple of lines and put the closing curly brace in. Now inside of this function is where the layout handling will take place. Now the first line in that function, you want to make a variable that is an object representation of this link element here. This link element has an ID of page style. So we target that by saying document dot get element by ID page style. So now this element right here is referenced in this variable. Now the next line is how we are going to change the style sheet from large dot CSS to some other dot CSS. But we want to put this line in some if conditions. But I want to show you this line first so you understand what we're doing. Now, when you run the function layout handler, if you left just these two lines within it, it's going to switch to mobile.css no matter what size the user screen is when they're resizing it. Or when they first come to the page, no matter what size the screen is, mobile.css will replace large.css because we're using the set attribute method, which will effectively change the href attribute and its value on this link element. So let me just comment out that line. I just wanted to explain that line to you guys because that's the line we're going to be using that actually swaps and switches the href and the value for this link element which is the link to your style sheet. So before that line runs you want to have an if condition and we want to check for the inner widths of the window object. So before we put in the evaluation for that if condition. Let's just go down here and let's make this function run. Copy it right here. Just copy the function name with the opening and cur closing curly brace and put it right there with a semicolon after it. Now what this does is it makes layout handler run. So right when for instance line 13 is being processed by the browser software it's going to make layout handler run. If you didn't put this line or if you had this line commented out this function layout handler would never run. So what we're going to do when the page first loads up and the user first comes to it before any design and markup HTML is thrown out to the page we're going to run this function called layout handler to switch the style sheet if we need to to maybe a mobile or a medium size. And right above that outside of the function we're going to type in window dot on resize which is the event handler that we want equals and then you can just put layout handler and that makes that function run on window resize so you remember in the beginning when I was showing you the demo while I was resizing the browser window the CSS was changing the whole CSS style sheet was changing as I got to certain widths so the way you do that as the user is resizing the browser window <coughs> to run the function layout handler is you use this line right here window dot on resize equals layout handler and this runs the function layout handler anytime the window is being resized now in your if condition you want to check the size of the browser window so you can just say 
this dot inner width or you can use window dot inner width you can use either this dot inner width or window dot inner width and what that will show you is the for instance if I resize Dreamweaver here it'll show you the inner width of that window the browser window that's what it will return to you so if the inner width is less than 900 pixels then we're going to use this line right here to make the whole page change to using the mobile.css instead of the large.css. So if the window.inner width is less than 900 pixels, we're going to make the page change to use this mobile.css. Now you can take that if condition, copy it, and just type in an else here and paste your if condition. Else if window.inner width is less than 1200, you want to serve up medium. CSS. Then you can have a final else condition, and this will be if the screen is very large, very wide, wider than 1200 pixels, you're going to serve up large.css. So you see how that works? You're going from smallest to largest as the user is resizing their browser window. So let me run this in my favorite browser and see what I have. Let me resize. So right now I'm viewing large.css. Let me resize, make it smaller. And there's mediums.css comes into play and then there's mobile.css because the browser window is very small it's less than 900 pixels so it goes to mobile okay so what you're doing here this line is anytime the user resizes the window so basically when I am performing this action that is window dot on resize We're running the layout handler function and this line right here only makes layout handler run when the page first loads up during its loading process when it first loads up that's why we put this line here because layout handler has to run when the browser window first loads up or during its loading process initially this is only here to make it this layout handler function run whenever the window is being resized and for enhanced performance on the web what you can do is preload mobile.css and medium.css using JavaScript. It gives you a little bit better performance. So you can Google search for uh, preload.css style sheets using JavaScript. Now like I said at adamcorey.com I have an article that I just wrote yesterday because I know some people are going to have questions about how do I just redirect a person to my mobile directory instead of changing swapping out the style sheet. I want to navigate them to a whole new mobile directory for my site. These two little scripts show you how to do that. And also keep in mind that PHP and Apache can also detect the user agent, which is the browser software, and redirect the user accordingly using PHP or .htaccess on Apache. And I wrote these because some people like might like to see how it's done using JavaScript. But PHP and Apache .htaccess can take care of uh, detection and redirection if you want. I'll be writing articles from time to time on adamcorey.com and there's always the late breaking news which you can see it's always updating every 30 minutes my scripts tap into various news organizations and bring the news in and it's just a news link to where when you click on that you go to their actual website to read the article but it's always updated because I like to keep on top of what's happening in the dork realms